to Playbook for Performance, the official podcast of Shauna Corden, the Joan of Arc for corporate healing and performance. Join the quest to make work fun again by preparing leadership for engaging workplaces. And now, your host. Well, welcome back, everybody, to another edition of the Playbook for Performance podcast. We're talking about essential skills for the effective leader. And really, we're exploding what we talked about last week, and we're talking about what is it that leaders really need to do when it comes to the vision. And the vision is so important because it's basically the leader's job to say, here's where you're going to follow me to. And we all want to know a very clear expectation of where we're going. Now, it's interesting because I talk about this a lot when I'm training people to have better coaching skills or if they want to become professional coaches. And I say as a coach, you know, my job is really to like walk alongside you. And if we say we're going to hike to the top of this peak and then all of a sudden there's a fork in the road and you veer off to the right and you start walking towards the lake, I'm going to make the observation of, hey, I know we said we were going to do go to the top, but I notice that we're going towards the lake. Do you still want to go to the lake? Or do, you, or do you still want to go to the top or do you want to change direction and go to the lake? As a coach, I'm sitting side by side. I'm a peer. I'm not offering direction. As a leader, I want it to be crystal clear. We're going to the top. And it's going to take some serious changes in the marketplace, changes in the workplace for me to go change a plan, everybody. We are now veering off. We're going to the lake. We no longer are going to the top. And here's why. So really important for people to understand that, that employees want a clear plan. Clarity is essential for us to take one step after another to move forward. So as leaders, we need to say, here's the plan. And here's how I think we could get there. Now, some employees want more direction than others. It depends on the expertise of your employees. Do you feel like they really have mastered the skills, they're experts in their field, or are they less experienced? And if that's the case, you can be a brainstorming partner, but you want to give them autonomy because if we tell them what to do, parts of their brain actually shut down and they temporarily comply, but they're not as engaged. And But if they come up with the idea themselves, they're way more engaged. And so we do need to give them some direction in terms of here's the priorities, you know, schedule is most important or uh, the, the schedule is least important. We actually, the scope of what we're doing is most important. Or it could be um, resources. How much money do we have? How many people do we have? Things like that. That whole project management triangle. And then As a leader, we are in a unique position to help overcome obstacles. So it could be that we grease the skids by getting agreement from leaders that may have to give permission at some point in the process. We might want to provide air cover. (laughs) Um, We want to make the work as easy as possible from our vantage point for them. So if you think about it as a parent, you know, um, when kids are toddlers, it's like, do you want to wear the red shirt or the blue shirt? You know, we're trying to make it very easy for them to accomplish the goal of getting dressed. Think about what that would be for your employee. So what is it that they need? This or this, whatever it is to make it easy for them. Sometimes it's tools, sometimes it's training, sometimes it's a mentor. Uh, It really just depends on the situation. We want to make sure we translate that vision into actionable steps. So what are the steps that your employee needs to take in order to get this done? Uh, This is where we go into the work breakdown structure of if I have to do this, what are all the baby steps that it takes to accomplish that? And we want to work backwards from the deadline. So Again, as a leader, depending on the experience of your employee, you may partner with them, you may mentor them, you may just be there to raise any red flags if you think that they're missing something. Um, You may just want updates because they're so experienced and you can give them. 
much autonomy to them to get it done. The same thing is true in leading ourselves. Before we can lead others, we have to lead ourselves. And so what is the direction for ourselves, whether it be our career path, whether it be our daily routine to maximize our health and performance? Uh, what are those things? What's the vision? What's it going to look like? So that's really our job as leaders. So what do employees want? Well, employees want clarity. They want a crystal clear expectation. The analogy I used at the beginning of this was you and I are taking a hike. We're going to the peak of the mountain. They want to know we're going to the peak of the mountain and we can expect it's, you know, certain grade percentage of hike and it's going to take about two hours and it will have some shade. It might not have any shade. There's no water. There's no restrooms. <laughs> they want that kind of clarity. They also want the process to be as efficient as possible. So be really clear with what it is that you think will make them most efficient and what might trip them up. Um, sometimes we get distracted by shiny things that are kind of exciting to us, but uh, for the most part, you can warn them what is it that's going to get in the way. They want it to be safe, and I'm not necessarily referring to physical safety, although depending on the group that you manage, that may be important. But they do want to know that they can take reasonable risk and that they won't get attacked. Again, psychological safety, the number one uh, attribute in high-performing teams. So they want to know that uh, based on their logic, if it's well worked out, that they're not going to get blamed for things. They do want support and they do want autonomy. They want to be able to determine what the schedule is, how soon they can work on things, uh, who is part of their team, who they work with, what tools they use, all of that, if there's an option. What don't they want? They don't want rework. Everybody's too busy already. So everybody gets pretty upset if they have to rework a process. So if, for example, you change your mind and say, nah, the lake is really a better option. You know, they're going to have to undo everything they did to get ready to go to the peak. And they may need different resources for going to the lake, etc. cetera. Uh, extra work is a, a version of rework, but it might be, you know, bringing someone up to speed who, because there's a change in the uh, members of the team, they don't want to get blamed for things when things go wrong and they don't want to be micromanaged. So as much as possible as a leader, hands off, just set some expectations in terms of reasonable milestones, how often you want to be updated, how quickly you want to be informed if things are going off track um, and and really ask them, you know, how how can I best support you? What is it that you want me to do as your leader to help you with this? So this is a part of a series that we're doing on the three most essential leader skills. And today we're we're talking about that whole idea of how a leader casts the vision and makes it really clear and translates that to action and actionable items for their employees. Now, if you're thinking, gosh, I could really use some help with this. Well, we do that. <laughs> so you, we can help you both as an individual and as a team in terms of creating that clarity or helping you cast that vision and translate it into a plan. So if you want help on that, we can do it in increments, steady state, you know, an hour a week. Or we can do something called done in a day where we do like an intensive workshop and we just build it all out and then give you sort of care and feeding as you need it going on. So um, I would love to hear your questions about this. What kinds of questions do you have about providing this clarity and direction regarding the vision to your staff? Because we can tackle those as we go. Until next time, take good care.
thank you for listening to Playbook for Performance. To learn more about Shauna Corden, her consulting programs and tools, please visit her website at shaunacorden.com and follow us on social media at Shauna Corden. Corden.